Hi, it's Fitcha from Sawmet. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to make these short pants with front page pockets. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload new videos, you get notified. You will need the basic short pants block pattern to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well. So first, press around your block making sure to mark your dots and your notches. Lift your block. Draw in your dart. Square in your grain line. Draw in your hip line and your hem allowance as well. Now for the waistband, go 6 cm down from the original waistline and just draw a parallel line like I'm doing here considering that we've got already a 1 cm seam allowance included on our waistline. So just a parallel line 6 cm down to make up for a 5 cm wide waistband. Now measure the dart intake here and just take the same amount of the side seam like I'm doing here. Connect this point back to the hip line with a curved ruler like I'm doing. So this part is no longer included in our pattern anymore and we don't have a dart anymore on our pattern. So we'll cut through this line adding band lines to both my waistband piece and my original pant piece as well and labeling my waistband piece back waistband cut one pair on fold or you can cut two plus one fusing so the center back is going to be on fold and i'm outlining my seam allowance at the center back here because we don't need it anymore we we'll take it out, cut around your pieces like I'm doing here, now we're going to go ahead and add a seam allowance to the bottom part of our waistband piece. Tap everything down like I'm doing here, adding a 1 cm seam allowance and cutting around the pattern piece. So this is our center back and this is our side seam. So now the back waistband piece is finished and now we're going to bring back our main pattern piece. Continue cutting around the pattern. And now we're going to add a joining seam allowance to the waistline as well. Tap everything down. Correct the shape here and adding a one centimeter seam allowance. Transferring the notches across as well and cutting around the pattern. Adding notches to the pattern and labeling my pattern, back short pants Cut one pair and I add my initial. 
moving on to the front pins press around the block as usual making sure to mark your dart and then OGs lift your block draw in your dart your hip line and your hemline spray down your brain line next we're going to draw in our waistband going six centimeters down from the original waistline like we did with the back just draw a parallel line all around like I'm doing here six centimeters down measure the dotting take left here and we're going to take it off the side seam like we did with the back put a mark with your kept ruler connect it back to the hip line like I'm doing here so this part is no longer included in our pattern anymore and we don't have a dart anymore as well blending everything down nicely like I'm doing here and just outlining my seam allowance for the center front then taking it out since we're going to be putting it on fold now labeling my waistband piece front waistband cut one pair or cut two on fold plus one fusing and I add my initial next we're going to be drafting our front pocket so going down from the seam there we're going to measure five centimeters down put a mark now we'll measure five centimeters past the grain line and we're going to go on and draw a straight line that's a total of 15 centimeters long five centimeters past the grain line and then make it 13 centimeters long and from that point we're going to go down square line which is 20 centimeters long so basically it's a rectangle of 15 by 20 centimeters close it off like i'm doing here so this is 20 centimeters length and 15 centimeters wide now i'm just closing everything off like i'm doing here adding the seam allowances so that's four centimeters at the top for the hem Now I'm adding our punches to the pocket so that I know how to position them on the pens when it comes to sewing. Three millimeters up from the corners there. Now get a spare pad and paper and make sure that you're going to cover the pocket because we're going to make a pocket piece. With the tracing we'll just trace around the outer edges of the pocket like I'm doing here. Just mark where the hem is starting adding notches to the pattern take out your pattern piece and we're going to outline the pocket adding the notches that we put there for our hem now labeling the pocket piece page pocket cut one pair and I put my initial and adding a grain line to the pocket piece cut around the pattern 
so our page pocket is finished now we're going to make the pocket flap so our pocket width is 15 centimeters so we basically just drawing a rectangle of 15 by 5 centimeters okay 15 by 5 like I'm doing here adding seam allowances right round except for one long side because we're going to be putting it on fold so this side is going to be on fold finishing off drawing my pocket and adding a bit of notches there plus one fusing of which we're just going to cut a half a piece of a fusing like that and I add my initial now cut around your pattern piece and my pocket is now finished bring back the front piece and we're going to finish off cutting through it like I'm doing here cutting the western piece as well now close the dot like I'm doing here now we'll add a joining seam allowance as well to the bottom part of our pattern piece tape everything down like I'm doing here now adding a joining seam allowance to the bottom part of our pattern piece one centimeter and cutting around the pattern adding more cheese to the pattern piece and now adding my grain line parallel to the center front Now we're also going to add a joining seam allowance to the front west line. One centimeter. And adding notches to the pattern as well. And cutting around it like I'm doing here. So now from the west line I'm measuring down 13 centimeters for the zipper notches, put my notch and then going down one centimeter further and put another notch for the zipper notches. So this is 13 centimeters down from the west line because we're going to include 5 centimeters of the west band width because the zipper is gonna go all the way up to the waistline. Labeling the part and front shorts, cut one pair and I put my initial and adding notches to the pattern. We're going to be using the original grain line and our short pants are finished for the front. Now all our pattern pieces are finished and now we're moving on to sewing. Now on to making our short pants, what you need are completed patterns, your fabric, some buttons, a zipper, an owl, and your cutting tools. And for the fabric, I'm going to be using this beautiful poplin fabric. Now let's move on to cutting our fabric.
Now all my parent pieces are cut and ready to sew. So the first thing we're going to do is to go ahead and interface both the pocket pieces and one set of our waist pen pieces. I've done that already for mine. And for the pocket pieces, I just interfaced half of it like that. Okay, for both. Now we're going to put this on the side for now. Now grab your front pieces, lay them one on top of the other, right side facing, and we're going to pin along the crotch seam here. Get the back and repeat the same. Pin along the crotch seam all the way. Take it to the sewing machine and sew from the top all the way to this end. And we're going to also overlock it okay putting this on the side as well now get both your pocket pieces and we're going to go on and overlock right around the outer edges when we finish that we're going to fold back the top part of our pocket using the notches that are there now we'll take this to the sewing machine and sew on both open edges we're going to sew from the end of the pocket here to the fold line end of the pocket to the fold line one centimeter and back taking at the beginning and the end for both pieces put this on the side get the pocket flaps and we're going to go on and fold them halfway lengthwise right sides facing like this and we're going to go on and also sew the open edges one centimeter from the end all the way to the fold line Back taking at the beginning and end for both sides for the two of them. Okay, now so let's go and complete all those stages now. Now we're gonna grab both the pocket flaps and we're going to go on and trim the corners. Fold them to the right side. Now we'll take both to the iron and iron them nice and flat. Okay, now so we've done that and we're going to put this on the side. Now grab both your waistband pieces, interfaced one and the uninterfaced one, and we're going to go ahead and pin along the left side. So we'll take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew along the side seam. When we finish that, we're going to take the interfaced one, open it up, and we're going to go ahead and overlock around the bottom edge. Okay, let's go and do that. Okay, now so that's done and we're going to take the western pieces, put them on the side, grab the pocket pieces and we're going to go on and turn them to the right side here. Take them to the iron and iron them nice and flat and also go ahead and iron the seam allowances under right round for both. Let's do that. Okay, now so they ironed nice and flat. So what I'm gonna do now is to take them to the sewing machine and just sew a top stitching right here for both, okay? Okay, now I've done that. Now I'm gonna go ahead, grab the front pants. Lay them on the table, right sides facing up. And we're going to go on and position our pockets using the owl punches that we put there already. Pin it down. So we'll take this to the sewing machine and we're going to go ahead and do an edge stitching right round the edges 
when we finish that we'll do another top stitching five millimeters away from the edge stitching okay for both sides let's go and do that with the pocket flaps we're going to go ahead give them an edge stitching after that we're going to go on and do a top stitching as well five millimeters away from the edge right round for both pieces let's do that okay now so that's done and now we're gonna get our pocket flaps and we're going to go on and align them to the pockets facing up like this pin them down So we'll take this to the sewing machine and we're going to go on and sew one centimeter from this open edge here one centimeter in all the way down one centimeter in all the way down let's go and do that okay now so that's done so now we're going to go on and trim this seam here to just about millimeters just leave three millimeters there okay now so we're gonna go on and pull the flap down we can give it a press and then we're going to sew it five millimeters from the edge on the top here do the same iron it down five millimeters from the edge Sew it down. Let's go and do that. Okay, so the pockets are almost done. The only thing left is to put button holes and buttons. So you can choose to do it now or you can do it afterwards. I'm gonna do mine last, okay? Now with our front pants facing up, we're going to get the back pant piece, lay it on top of it with the right side facing down, and we're going to make the side seams pin along the whole left side seam first then on the right side that's where we're going to put our sitter which will be the left side for the right side of the pants okay put double pins at the sitter notches and then continue pinning all the way down At the same time, we're going to go on and pin along the inseams. Make sure you put your seam allowances on different directions to avoid bulk, okay? So we'll take this to the sewing machine and sew in the inseam all the way up to here, back taking at the beginning and end. And we're also going to go ahead and sew along the side seams. On the left side here, we're going to go on and sew all the way down. And then to the right side where we're going to be putting our zipper, we start from the double pins here, that's where our zipper notches are, back take here and sew all the way down and back take again, okay? Let's go and do that now. Okay, now, so that's done. Now we're going to go on and turn our pants to the right side. Lay them on the table with the right side facing up like this. Grab a waistband piece, the one that's not interfaced, and we're going to go on and pin the bottom edge along the upper edge of our pants here okay just match the edges and make sure you're going to match your seams as well pin right round
now take this to the sewing machine and we're going to go on and attach our waistband piece to the waistline right round with a one centimeter seam allowance back taking at the beginning and at the end when we finish that we're going to go back to the inside of the pants and we're going to go on and overlock the side seams for both sides let's go and do that okay now so that's done and i also went ahead and ironed my seam allowance facing up in here gave this a nice press right round so the next thing i'm gonna do is to go ahead and apply my insensible slipper to the side okay let's go and do that okay now so that's done we've sewn on our invisible zipper and now i'm gonna go ahead and open the zipper get the other interface waistband piece and we're going to go ahead open the zipper like this stretch it out and we're going to go on and make the waistline seam here and pin all around Stretch the other zipper allowance out like this again and match the seams like this and pin it down as well. So we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to go on, stretch our zipper allowance out and sew from the same seam all the way up to the waistline seam, pivot our fabric and we're going to go all around the waistline seam and finish off here as well just stretch your zipper allowance out and just finish off up to the edge of the facing piece here okay let's go and do all that now okay now so that's done so this is how we've done it we've sewn all the way from the facing piece up to the corner pivot our fabric and go all the way around the waistline and back to the facing edge here again so now we're gonna go on and clip all around the waistline seam now go on and trim the corner and turn the waistband piece to the right side okay so now we're gonna go ahead and under stitch right around our waistline so what we're gonna do is to just go ahead and attach the facing piece to the seam allowance here like that and we're going to be sewing two to three millimeters away from this waistline seam here okay attaching just these two together all the way around as much as we can get okay now after that we're gonna go ahead and overlock right around our legs for both sides let's go and do that okay now so the under stitching is done so the next thing we're gonna do is to give this a nice press i've done that for mine already so next i'm gonna go ahead and make sure to pin the facing down okay so now we'll take this to the sewing machine and we're going to be stitching in the ditch here making sure to catch our facing at the back here okay well today we're going to go on and finish hemming our short pants so make sure to iron your hem allowance up like i've done mine already and we're going to go on and give this a top stitching right round for both legs let's go and do that so that's it my short pants are finished and i'm happy with the results thank you